De regreso en Auto 060, we're switching back to English again because we're going to talk more about the new Corvette Stingray, the 2014 Corvette Stingray with uh, my colleague Lara Burstein. So now that's my favorite part of the show when I get to talk to my colleagues and uh, we just drove for, uh, what, 200 miles on your Corvette, Laura? Feels like it did. It was, yeah, for sure. It was, it was fun, huh? What do you think? It was great, yeah. It was, uh, what was impressive to me is, you know, a lot of times, especially with a performance car, the media or the PR people will take you on like perfectly smooth roads. They're going to yeah. find the ones that don't have any potholes, don't have any gravel. Like well, Formula One racetrack, right? Exactly. Well, they did almost the opposite in this case. We were driving through potholes and gravel, in some cases too much gravel, and we were dodging suicidal squirrels in the road <laughs> and all kinds of things. So We, we came out clean out of that. We did. We did. We did not kill anybody or anything, so that's good. Um, but the one thing that struck me is the fact that, I mean, It's always hard to strike that balance between a performance car and a daily driver. And I think that Corvette, I mean, you're not going to want maybe to be cruising for 12 hours at a time. No. It's not a cushy car. That's not what it's meant to be. But it is practical enough for day to day. It will handle the rough roads. It will handle the gravel. The chassis stays composed. The tire grip is still there. And with the adjustable different drive modes, it's really good. I mean, you can have sporty or really sporty, or you can take it down a little bit more comfortable. I noticed you know, when you put it into eco mode. Yeah, we're trying our, to make better mileage. Right, our <laughs> gas mileage went up, you know. But even so, even sport mode, we were driving almost 200 miles, and I think we're averaging close to 20 close miles to 20, per gallon. Yeah. And that's the thing, I think, that most people, like, uh, they don't, take the car for what it is. I mean, this is a sports car. I mean, you're not going to get, like, save a lot of money on gas with it. So. Absolutely. I mean, people people aren't going to decide, oh, am I going to buy this or a Prius? You know? Yeah, exactly. No, it's not It's not that choice. And what about the, your general opinion of the design, which uh, has been kind of controversial? Because it has been controversial. I think it's very evident that Chevrolet is trying to branch out to a, nif a different customer. Before, I feel like the Corvette is very red-blooded, middle America and maybe now with the European design it's going to or I should say European inspired design perhaps um, you know there are still elements of it if you look at those rear tail, tail lights people yeah. say oh it's the Camaro tail lights so it's, although they say that those the Camaro tail lights were inspired in the Corvette right but the Camaro <laughs> came out first so anyway well at least this this version yeah. but no but it's funny because you were saying like when when we look at the rear view mirrors and we see like the very flat Uh, side of the car in the back on, on, over the, the rear tires it looks like a Lamborghini if you're like paying close attention so it has very different dis cues from other designs right? Exactly, exactly so I think they're definitely going to be broadening the appeal I think the global market is very important to Chevrolet I think General Motors has made no secret to the fact that they want to expand yeah. their customer base I think like 60% of the cars they sell outside the state so uh, this one is a good one too Yeah, and also like we were talking about before Um, broadening the audience to a younger buyer. And we noticed when we were driving exactly. on the freeway, the ones who were, well, we were getting the thumbs up from the old guys. From but, everybody, actually from everybody, yeah, that's to true. be fair. But we, it was amazing how many young guys were stopping to look at the car and giving us thumbs up and things like that. Yeah. Maybe people who wouldn't necessarily have thought in the past that Corvette's for them. It's now definitely a more aspirational vehicle. Um, than maybe it yeah. was before. Well, I enjoyed uh, really driving with you today. So where our audience can find more about you and uh, what you do? You can find me at lauraburstein.com. It's L-A-U-R-A-B-U-R-S-T-E-I-N. And I'm also at Laura Burstein on Twitter. And I'm also on Facebook. Excellent. Okay. I uh, hope to see you soon. And maybe we we'll go and drive something uh, more fun than this. Muchas gracias. <laughs>